extended tutorial of my previous tutorial which was installing a Windows um, virtual machine. So now we've got a Windows virtual machine and now I'm going to make a Ubuntu virtual machine. So uh, go to new. Oh, I'm in expert mode. Hold on one sec. I'll explain that. Okay, so when you first open it up, you can go and it'll look like this, and it's called guided mode. And guided mode is pretty simple. We did that with Windows 7, but we're not going to do that with um, Ubuntu. We're going to go to expert mode because we're experts now on how to set up virtual machines. So we'll go to expert mode. And we'll call this one Tom. And we'll change the type to Linux. We'll change the install type to Ubuntu 64. And we'll crank up the memory to 2 gigabytes. And we'll create a virtual hard disk. Now this will bring me to the next page which asks what kind of hard drive I'd like and what would I like to save it as so I'm gonna make this one another 25 gigabytes and then we're gonna make it a VHD file and then we're gonna make it dynamic inside voila now what I didn't do in the last tutorial which I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to modify the visual settings just a little bit so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the display properties so we're going to crank up the crank it up now if you've got like a, a one gigabyte graphics card or whatever you can you, you pretty much confidently crank this up to a 128 and not worry about it. Um, now, the, the next little bit depends on 3D acceleration. If you feel confident that your graphics card, once again, can handle um, doing multiple things at once, um, go ahead and feel free to click Enable. Moving on. Click OK. We created Tom. Okay, so now what we've got to do is we've got to give Tom. Um, we got to make sure that Tom's got his optical disc has Ubuntu in it, and then we're going to power him on by double clicking. And you're greeted with the Ubuntu login screen or load screen. Now this might take some time depending on uh, your computer's configuration. With mine, it's it's pretty quick. to the main page here and we're gonna go install Ubuntu and yes the hard drive has at least six gigabytes free because we made it 25 gigabytes large um, we are connected to the internet through the miracle of um, networking so Oh, we, we can download the updates while we're going. And we'll click continue. 
Now, we want to erase the disk. We don't want to set up the disk ourselves. It's going to make um, an operating system partition, and then it's going to make uh, a couple other little partitions for uh, things that Ubuntu needs them for. I'll explain them later. Uh, but basically, just click install now. Then you get this little warning. If you continue, the disk will be written to and it can be changed later, etc., etc. And here's the other partitions it's writing. So it's writing an EXT, which is the operating partition, and then, then it's writing a swap partition, which is. Uh, basically for system information to be swapped in and out temporary stuff so we just click continue type in where we are let's say you know, I'm in Toronto Ontario click continue language type so I'm English English continue now you want to put uh, your username so we're going to make a user and the computer's name we're going to call it uh, Tom Username is going to be user as well. Okay, so we need to set a password. Password will be password. And then we'll continue. Because we this is a virtual machine. We're not making. Anyway. Pause the recording until this is done doing its thing. Alright, so now the installation is done. We need to restart. Okay, so you've restarted it, and now you're looking at it, and you're like, okay, so I've got Ubuntu installed, that's kind of cool. Um, but then you grab the little corner here, and you're like, what? Why isn't this like Windows? So, then you've got to, in order to get the, uh, the actual same kind of functionality as Windows, you got to do the install of the guest features as well. And then once you enter your password and install the features, you should be able to be able to adjust the screen size to anything you want. So we'll install the guest mode module. going to pause while it does that. Okay, so now that you've installed that package, um, you want to click the little power button up here, go to shut down, restart. Just going to pause it while this restarts real quick. Make sure you press enter um, so that you exit the screen. And wow, look at that. Now it's uh, the size of the window. And if I grab it here, do, 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 it'll resize to the appropriate thing. So yeah, that's uh, basically the real quick way to install a bunch. And uh, we'll get into messing with this operating system a little more later. So stay tuned and I'll see you next time.